on to coalesce. Coalesce, it's kind of similar to the case or choose in some cases. What it does is it says, give me the first non-null item in the list. So it's kind of like is null with two parameters. Or we're saying coalesce of parent, which is the name of a column in this example, comma zero. It is null would return the same thing in this case. It would, if parent is null, it would set it to zero. Otherwise, it would return parent. Coalesce will accommodate more than two fields. You can say parent, if it's null, then look at this other field. Otherwise, if that's null, then let's return zero. Uh, we're going to create a new table called departments, and we're going to put in there the same stuff that we looked at in previous training where it's like a department store or a camping store. And we're just going to take a look at what's in the table like we normally have done. And you can see here we get a list of the departments and the parent column in some cases is null, which signifies the top level. In other cases, it's set to one, meaning that all of these are under the camping department. And we can say in this case, give me the parent. Otherwise, if the parent is null, set it to zero. Kind of like the is null function would have set those to zero. The difference here is you could do multiple columns in there as well. Let's take a look at how it compares to is null. So what I'm going to do is turn on the execution plan here. I'm going to call coalesce on selecting max parent from departments. So it's a subquery or drive table query inside of the select statement. So that's going to get one, run once for each time through the result set. And I'm going to turn on st statistics IO and I'm going to run it with coalesce. And I'm going to run it with is null to see how it compares when we're doing just a two parameter option, which could work with either is null or coalesce. We run that, we get the same results back on either of them. We look at the plan, the coalesce is a little bit more costly here in that it takes up 62% of the overall cost versus 38. But when we look at the output, one, one of them caused a 10, 10 scans and 30 logical reads, while the is null did two scans and six logical reads. So to get the exact same result, if you're looking at using is null versus coalesce, SQL Server's done some things to optimize how that is null is working so, it's, so it doesn't do uh, as much work uh, as the coalesce does in that specific case. But if you need to use more than three parameters, coalesce is what you want to use.